everybody! Today in this video we are going to be going through our evidence from our most recent investigation at the Memphis Cemetery. After the video went up, people came to us and showed us some things that we had missed and we had also found a couple things that we thought were mentionable so we wanted to share the experience of going through this with you. there and we got to take a look at the witch's ball and it's the main reason that drew us to visit the Memphis Cemetery because um, there's a local legend around here and basically the story is, is that it was put in it would, it would shift and it would move a little bit and um, it, it freaked people out and it was kind of shaped like this magic scene it's eyeball spooky and, and, it's and it was shaped. spooky and everybody was horrified well I mean, it's made out of a natural element and in nature with the real element when the temperature is shifting and this is expanding and contracting, this is going to rotate a little bit. And that freaked people out. That freaked people out. In 2008, I went to the Memphis Cemetery just because of the local legend and it was a fun and exciting thing to do. And when we were there, I took some pictures. That is what the witch's ball looked like in 2008, and I physically, I took that picture myself. Um, now you can see that there's kind of like this like cement square base around on top of that actual base. Um, well, after doing some research between 2008 and 2017, that um, cement base had chipped and had cracked and broke off. So they'll find there was like um, caution tape and they roped that whole area off because they knew it was a local edge and they didn't want kids falling down the block to us, trouble. you know, exploring <laughs> and then get hurt. This is then since removed. And when that base was moved, the ball did shift. Only slightly, but it did shift. It's slight, a slight difference. You can see that in the pictures. But when I went and I visited in 2017, and I took a picture from the same standpoint, compare that to when we went and I took a picture in 2018, there's no difference. The ball didn't move at all. It's called interesting. Basically, the first thing that you see when you are born is a face. Your whole life you're looking for things that are familiar. It's no difference than seeing pictures in the clouds. So if there's anybody else in the cemetery or anything like that, your eyes are going to start to play tricks on you. So basically, I'm glad that the Witch's Ball brought us yeah, to the Memphis sure. Cemetery and brought Courtney and Jordan. It was great that we were able to go and it brings people together and it gets you out there. But I honestly, I don't think there's anything tied to the Witch's Ball. It's just a whole bunch of hocus pocus and it's a lot of fun. It's just a fun story. I think everything else that we were dealing with was just other stuff that was going on. There was other commotion. For sure. And um, one of the things that was really neat about this character, Brian, so um, we don't want to give out too much information on him for his own personal reasons, um, private reasons, and for his family's respect. When we go there and we bring that spirit box, yeah. is it like dialing out? Is it that we're there so they show up? Right. I don't think they're there all the time, no. like 24-7, that doesn't make any sense. Or is there like some kind of opening that's right. created? The whole idea of cemeteries being haunted in general is kind of weird. Because we all have our own passions, we all have things that we're connected to, or things that we really love, or people that we really love, or places that we grew up that are so full of happy memories and pleasant times, but... It, it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that when you die you want to just hang out with your physical remains. But my personal belief is that if something traumatic happens or you go before your time is really should be up, um, so like, you know, if you like pass away really young or there's like a really traumatic experience or something, the thing that you might be tied to is the fact that, that you died. And I think that there is something to be said about that, especially with the case that we basically stumbled sure. our, our way into with the Memphis Cemetery. I can't believe I didn't notice that picture before.
so like okay so it was it was like there's this bush it's about in the middle kind of where our cars are parked you can see it from where the cars are and there's this like white flowering bush and then there's this big tooth on that's kind of squarish i know exactly what yeah and it was like mm -hmm. figure eighting on a diagonal and i s saw him two times and then i saw just a white <laughs> swoosh the last time but it was like I saw an arm and the hat and just walking around. Like you, if you were visiting somebody and you were looking down like this and like going around like this. Did you just say? Did it just say Brian? Brian. It did. I Brian. Clear Brian. 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 The most interesting part of like this whole part where it says Brian is the fact that I was doing like it was quiet yeah until i started explaining to you guys and like doing my little imitation mm -hmm. or whatever and that's when that comes out yeah that was yeah. weird and it pauses after this so weird yeah yeah it's so weird do you hear that there's a couple times i've heard courtney in this video too and i can never like go back and find it but just no, courtney right yeah there. yeah yeah And it was that same voice and in the same cadence earlier. Somebody, and you were looking, buddy, and you were looking, buddy, and you were looking.